Hey folk, welcome back to the Rock Shop. In today's video I am going to show you a couple of little techniques uh, that I use to test the output homage of a guitar or a guitar pickup while it's still in the guitar without having to remove uh, any of the back covers or any of the plates or anything like that. Uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need a multimeter. This one is a digital multimeter that is auto ranging, so it will sense the you know sense what's coming into it and it will range it uh, accordingly. You can also use one of these guys. This is a manual ranging multimeter, uh, and if you're using one of these, you will set it to the 20k setting. I don't know if you can see that. We've got Skycam going on up here, but if you have a manual ranging multimeter, set it to 20k here. Uh, if you have a digital multi, uh, uh, auto ranging meter, sorry. Uh, you can just set it to homage uh, and it'll be fine. Just want to make sure that it's it's definitely set. There are some of these, like this Fluke, has a couple of different features uh, on the on the one setting. So just make sure it's on on the appropriate one. Then you want to take your test leads and just a regular patch cable. Any old patch cable will do. Typically, I would say keep it under a meter, three feet or so. Because um, you don't want to add, you don't want any of the resistance of the cable to be adding to the pickups and potentially skewing the results. Uh, so, two or three feet a meter is perfect. Uh, this one's a bit shorter than that, but that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to take the the plug and we're going to just plug it into the output jack of the guitar, like that, and then take our probes. And it doesn't matter which way around these are for this for this test. It could be either way, uh, but just a good rule of thumb is the black one goes on uh, the sleeve or the ground, uh, and the hot one goes on the tip. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select the pickup we want to test. So I want to test the bridge. So I'm going to make sure that this pickup selector is on the bridge setting, and I'm going to make sure that all the volumes and all the tones are all the way up on the guitar. And then we're going to look at our meter, and in this case it's reading 13.335, I'm sorry, 13.35, 13.34, yep, so it's ranging, that's about right, that's what I expect for this particular pickup in this guitar. And then we're going to swap to the neck pickup, we're going to give it a second, it fluctuates a little bit, but it gives you a good idea, it's 11.26. 11.27. Yep, so that's fine. That's We know now that both of these pickups work fine. We, If you don't know what the homage is already, it gives you a good idea. And if you know what the homage is supposed to be, it confirms that they work. And then put it in the middle position, which is both of them in parallel, which is going to uh, half the, the total output homage. So it's 6.12. That's great. So I know that the switch is working properly and I know the pickups are working properly. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how... I'm going to show you another tool that I use to do the same job that makes it a little bit easier. So we'll unplug that. And we'll unplug these. We'll get that out of the way. And we'll bring this in. Now this is just a set of these test leads with these ends chopped off uh, and I've replaced it with just a, a quarter inch jack that's all I've done nothing special nothing fancy again it doesn't necessarily matter which way around these are uh, for this instance so bear that in mind but what I'll do is I'll make a separate video on how I made this so we're going to plug plug the ends into the multimeter and then we're just going to take this this jack and we're going to plug it in to the output of the guitar. Again making sure that all the volumes and tones are all the way up and the pickup that you want to test is selected. Give it a second and there we go it's reading 13.36 13.46 sorry um, which is exactly where I'd expect it to be and then we're going to check the neck give it a second 11.34 Brilliant. The middle, 6.15. Brilliant. So, that's that. That's the guitar checked. It's super easy to do. You don't have to take any covers off. You don't need to take any pickups out. 
anything like that. It's also super handy for this cable itself is super handy for measuring uh, the ohmage of a guitar cab. You just plug it into the back of the guitar cab and it'll tell you. You know, is it an 8 ohm cab, is it a 16 ohm cab, a 4 ohm or whatever. Uh, this is super handy for that. You can use it for that as well. But yeah, there you go. Uh, any questions you guys have, please feel free to leave a comment uh, down below and I'll try and answer them. And like I said, I'll make a separate video on how I made this. It's really easy. But yeah, thanks guys. Bye.